In this video, I've picked out five of the best wallets you can buy right now. A slim wallet for your everyday essentials. Which minimalist wallet design will you like best? Okay, first, the Walter wallet. I purchased this wallet for less than $12, which is a great feel-good factor. Walter wallets are sustainably produced in the Netherlands. The recycled cardboard packaging looks great, and your Walter wallet is also fully recyclable. I wasn't expecting it to look this good for $12. There's a wide choice of colors and even printed designs. I think blue looks fantastic. The textured finish feels great. So the point of this wallet is that it offers fast access to your credit cards. Up to seven cards depending how many have embossed writing. I've got a mixed bunch here, mostly embossed. They meet with an intentional point of resistance where pushing them past a certain position secures them so they can't fall out. It's a clever design with minimal components. You thumb cards forward from either side. Top points for functionality. The second slot is for folded cash bills or shopping receipts, which couldn't be easier to access. By the way, aluminium is available if you want to spend more. But honestly, the polymer material is outstanding and you won't be disappointed. The aluminium variant offers anti-skimming protection for your contactless payment cards. We've had a lot of wallets on the channel and this is by far the most satisfying to use. Just for fun, we'll score each wallet out of 10, giving the Walter wallet full marks. Vote for your favorite wallet. You'll see a pop-up top right at the end of the video or leave a comment. So next, the only soft material wallet of my selection, sticking with the theme of affordable wallets throughout. This is the Nomatic Slim Minimalist Wallet, an everyday carry card holder for keys, cash, and coins. I paid just $19.99. There's a choice of four colors, black, gray, mint, and red, which looks amazing. What do you think? Its main USP is this pull tab for fast access to your credit cards. The body is made from a medical grade knitted elastic material. The pull strap is nylon and the pull tab is genuine leather. Quite surprising again to unbox such a high quality product given it costs so little. You can see the easy operation of the pull tab. That works great. Taking a closer look at its operation, we can see its simple pulley type action. It looks robust. So far, I like it. Be sure to read the card loading instructions or you may be putting all of your cards in here. Actually, you load the wallet with cards in two places. Those loaded in this side benefit from pull tab access. On the reverse, you can store cards you don't need to access as often. It's expandable to hold up to 14 cards. Peeking here, we can see two pockets for other items. I found cash goes nicely here and a couple of coins or a key in this pocket. My score, nine out of 10. As always, I've experienced each product hands-on to give you the best information. Hit like if you appreciate that or subscribe for more product reviews. Thanks. Next up, the Decadent DM1 Minimalist Wallet. We had a look at this in detail a few weeks back and for disclosure, this is the only wallet here that I didn't buy myself. Decadent Wallets sent me this wallet. Decadent manufacture the wallet in-house in the United States and like the other wallets we've seen so far, it offers maximum practicality and fast access to your cards. Cards are seated in the central channel with a satisfying click. Its unique wraparound design and exposed card face allows you to just shuffle cards forward to fan them out. You can thumb cards from either side, making them all easy to pick out. Even one card can be held securely. You can order in three thicknesses designed for up to four, eight or 12 cards. Now the one I have is titanium, which actually is a little pricey, but ignore that because there's a stunning range of colored anodized aluminum decadent wallets, but drop them into the sub $50 bracket. I just didn't have an aluminum one to show you. You can store cash by pushing between your cards or with the optional money clip. I'm gonna score the decadent wallet a nine.
This one, I don't know how to pronounce, but with a channel name as stupid as mine, I'm not gonna throw stones. The soft touch box is nice if you're buying as a gift. The first thing to note is the quality of the removable outer case. This is full grain, crazy horse leather, which is good value. I paid under $35. This type of leather will gain character over time, giving a rugged, authentic, glossy, mature look. There's different leather types and color to choose from, but sadly, I could find no animal free option. A new wallet will need to wear in before your card slots become more supple. An outer pocket is also ideal for folded bills. An aviation grade aluminium central card holder provides RFID protection for your credit cards, keeping you safe from digital theft. They advise up to five card storage in this part. I tested it with six cards as mine weren't all embossed and with just a couple of cards. But find the mechanism requires more force than is comfortable to make it work. It does have a smooth action, however, and separates the cards evenly. Described as a hybrid wallet, you can use it without the case. You can also buy additional cases, or you can order the aluminium card holder by itself. It looks great with or without the case, and it's supplied with two money bands for folded bills. I don't think you'd want to use it without the leather case, as the edges are pretty square cut. Not great when in contact with your clothes. I'm scoring this wallet a 7 out of 10. So next, not necessarily in any order, is the Card Block R from Conceal Plus. There's more information about all the products shown in the description, as well as product links. If you use a link to buy an item, I may earn a small fee from that, at no extra cost to you. This wallet doesn't inspire confidence when you first unbox it, as it does rattle. The outer case folds open to access two soft-lined card pockets. Each can hold around two credit cards. You also have a place to secure folded cash. This makes the wallet quite versatile and provides much more space than some of the other wallets. The more interesting part is the pop-up eject mechanism. Again, we have a central aluminium card holder. It holds six cards or four embossed credit cards in the RFID protected center. With one card in each of the outer case pockets and a few banknotes, it still closes securely with the press button and retains its same uniform shape. With cards and cash loaded, it feels complete. It no longer rattles as much and I can appreciate it a lot more. There's lots of pop-up star wallets and they generally all have the eject button in the rung place. This one has the lever exactly where your thumb will naturally rest, making it very intuitive to use. It separates your credit cards evenly. This style is PU carbon fiber and red edging. There's around 10 different styles of artificial leather to choose from and some with different color aluminum centers. See which you like best. I score this one an eight. Which wallet did you like best? Hit the icon above and vote for your favorite.